All right, guys, we got a 2012 Honda Pilot. We're going to change the transmission fluid. The customer went and got it from the dealer. Here it is. Uh, DW1. Uh, you're going to need four quarts. Uh, no measuring or nothing. You could take it out and measure it, but if you don't want to measure it, just put in four quarts. But uh, there's a dipstick down here all the way down below. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to the, the filler plug. Which is a 17 millimeter right there next to the pipe. Uh, so, what I got here is a 17 millimeter on my impact, and I'm gonna set that up and then I'm gonna bang it on. So, here it is, got my impact down there. So, I don't wanna go crazy with it because it has a little washer on the top. So, go easy when you're turning this. Use hand if you wanna use a ratchet, that's even better. Counterclockwise, it might be super tight, but. It's, it's loose, but I don't want to drop it, so I'm going to take my impact off and go grab that little guy. So we got the little guy loose sitting there. I'm going to put my hand in here on a tight spot. And, oh, I got a coat of crap right on the shoulder. There it is. There's our filler plug. We're going to leave this here. Now we're going to go down below and drain the fluid. To drain the CVT, uh... I'm sorry, not a CVT, a regular transmission. Uh, right here is your uh, plug right here. So what you need is a wrench. You don't need no socket, no extension, no nothing. So I might have to lift the truck a little higher so my ratchet can go in, but there you go. I got it in there. Got my drain bucket down below and got the ratchet ready to pull on this. And you gotta go kind of clockwise. So I'm pulling towards me right in front of the car. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just yank on this. Okay, that was pretty easy to come off. Let's take off our ratchet now. Okay, that's it. And there you go. Make sure you have a drain bucket down below. We're gonna open this guy so it's gonna start to shoot a lot of transmission fluid, which is what it's supposed to do. And oops, there you go. Made a big mess already. And there we have it. And the fluid started to come down. Perfect. Looking pretty good. It's always a mess with the transmission. So make sure you replace this washer if you have one. So the customer didn't burn one. We're going to clean this up and reuse it. But a proper thing what you do is to uh, change it. So there you have it. Big mess. So be careful. This thing will get messy. So I'm going to clean this guy up right now with my rag here. All the broken down particles. And it's going to take good five minutes for the transmission fluid to just drain out. But meanwhile, just clean your drain plug. And there you have it. So we're going to wait for the transmission to drain out. Nice and clean. What we're gonna do is, uh, if you wanna give it a little bit more longer, it's up to you, but we're gonna put this baby back in. And now all you're gonna do is tighten this guy up, nice and tight, and don't go crazy. Don't crack the transmission either. And then clean up the excessive, and then we'll, we'll fill up this transmission. So you simply put this bolt as far as you can by hand. Make sure that crush washer is there. We made a huge mess down here. That's fine. We'll clean that up. But now it's time to lock this guy up. Same thing, now you're gonna go clockwise, okay? And I like to do it by hand, and this is a big ratchet, and that's it, I'm all done and set. Thank you for watching, and let's go up on the top. Okay, I'm using this long funnel. Make sure your funnel sits in the hole also, and make sure uh, you're not just pushing the fluid onto the side of the transmission. So it's a long funnel. I got it in there, I'll show you once. Uh, I take it out, so we're gonna put all four quarts in there. And it came out about 3.9, but a uh, little bit is not going to hurt the transmission. And after that, if you want to check it, you can check it by starting the car. Let it get warm, nice and warm. Put it to each gear. But you need to check this baby once it uh, turns off. And you got about 90 seconds to check that. After 90 seconds, it's going to show you that it's overfilling. But anyways... Should be a 20 minute job, no more than that.
Okay, this is number three right here. Keep an eye down below also. Go slow because it needs to breathe. And this is the last one right here. And we're all done and set after this. And I'll show you the funnel as soon as I'm done. Take it easy. And this is all set. And here comes the funnel. There you go. I just want to take it really fast because it got fluid on it. So it's long, about two foot long funnel. Uh, after that, make sure you got this little washer here. Make sure this washer is there. And sometimes this washer gets stuck to the edge like that. And tap on it, it will go back down. But now this is the hard part. You got to reach down there. Make sure your car is not hot, super hot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to catch the threads. And then I'm going to just tighten it by hand, okay? No impact, putting it back. So there you go, caught the threads. And I'm going to just lock up the bolt. And it's ready and set to go. Anyways, thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. See you guys on the next one. All right, so I'm just finishing this guy up. I was going to show you this part. So I'll put the same extension and same socket with a quarter inch dry ratchet. And all I'm going to do is tighten this up. And then you have a dipstick over here, that yellow little guy, to check your fluid. But if you measure your fluid, you're good to go. And usually the dealer gives you just the amount of fluid you need. So I'm going to lock this up, and that's it. We're done.